Okay, so here we are. Let's get on with this bad boy. So, uh, when I switched to recording of yesterday, I was uh, getting frustrated about the inability to dock. Turns out that a simple addition of some extra RCS thrusters made that uh, possible. Let's get rid of all of those. Uh, as the RCS thrusters around the center of mass of the entire thing, rather than just the front bit, meant the docking was a lot more straightforward. No idea why it was so easy for the first craft, but here we are. So we're up on the space station. We've got this bad boy here and this bad boy here, both ready to go. However, before we do that, before we time warp and go to Juna, the uh, the Mexican Mission Control, I assume it's Mex still Mexican Mission Control. I haven't been advised that they've relocated anywhere else. Um, has suggested that we uh, investigate the construction of a probe and a multiple, multiple probes uh, from a single craft. So, what I think we need for that is some ion drives and these better relays. Now, I thought we'd have enough science for this, but I'm short by like a hundred science. No, it's 67, 60, 6.8 science, which is a little bit frustrating now that I come to look at it. So, what can I do to get me a bit of extra science? Let's have a look at some missions. None of those are going to give me, none of those easy missions are going to get me any science. Oh, child is stirring, but not awakening. Uh, okay, what can I do to get a bit of extra science here? So, I've been to the moon, we've sort of done all the science that is, there is to do there. Um, what we've not done is we've not done the science that's around the vehicle assembly building and these buildings here. So maybe we can just pop a quick rover together to get a bit of science from around and about. That also would be a good idea to test out some of this ground equipment that we've got now. Wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So, uh, let's start with a something structural. I want to know how big all these pieces are, really. Okay. Ah, there we go. Look, that's a nice big... It's a nice big base, isn't it? Where are you going to let me attach these two? Only to the middle. Hmm. Forget that then. Let's just start with a girder. And why can't I not get a bigger one of those? Like 
like literally then what? How big are these wheels? They weren't attached to the micro node. All right then, so they weren't attached to the micro node. That's not really gonna help me there, is it? <clears throat> ah, look, there we go. Let's put some of those on. Can I attach wheels to these things? Would appear not. Why not? Why not indeed? Oh, that's, that's fucking tiny. Just like that. Uh, let's get some wheels on. Oh, that's not going to work. Don't worry about it, boy. Not, it's not low enough anyway, look at that. <clears throat> How do I get something that is lower than that? I don't know. I literally don't know what I'm doing. So the original rover was basically one of those with some wheels on it, but I don't want that to be the case this time. I wanted to build something a bit more structurally solid, but it really doesn't look like I have the abilities to do so. these bad boys on them. I can then in theory put some wheels on there. But that will touch the ground so that's not really of any use. sized I guess those things just aren't the right things let's, uh, let's get rid of that let's style one of these and let's put some wheels on it Structural again. I could 
two of that just working and sitting on top there. But no, fine. Put that panel on the top. I shouldn't have tried to move it, should I? Right, there we go. And on top of that, so we need some power. Are those are the good ones? No. Are those are the good ones. That's probably too much. Some solar panels. I love how everything on this is now totally bugging in terms of its symmetry. And some science experiments, I suppose. Get one of those on the top, and one of those on top of that. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, and uh, nope, not that, one of those. Stick that on there so we know what's going on with it. Is that it? Um, KSC Rover. Who knows if this thing will even work? I just need to go and get some ready science. Oh, mate, it totally works. Totally bloody works. Delightful. Revert to launch. Let's get daytime. Right, off we go. Let's journey on down to the uh, course, as long as I'm stopped, it'll work. Oh. Tight turns, not a good idea, it would seem. It's a little bit on the top heavy side. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Here comes the sun. Just cruising now, cruising. Oh, 
Tug on the brakes, right, let's do a reading. Log some temperature. Log some seismic data. Log some pressure data. Run an atmospheric analysis. Collect everything. Right, onwards <coughs> to the next building. Let's head over to the tracking station. Oh, oh, oh. So this is going to give me some different info. Lovely. 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 Inoperable off transmitting. It's going to grab us seven and a half. So the science bay is not useless to me. Right over to the over to the uh oh that's a big drop there let's slow it gently gently to the research facility god don't crash into the research facility whoa 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 brakes fuck i didn't press brakes bloody hell that was exciting Lock some of that. <clears throat> Lock some of that. Lock some of that. Lock some of that. Lock some of that. Capture it all. I need to head over to mission control. Actually, there's the uh, astronaut training complex over there, and some other bits and bobs first. Shit. Ah, uh, bollocks. Well. Do the science, can't we? Can we flip this thing over? It's literally just stuck here, right? Let's recover the vessel anyway. Because we can always just immediately launch another one. <clears throat> ah, nice 103 science from that. So I need to visit one, two, three more buildings. Let's just very rapidly do that. And then the fun can begin. Let's go, Rover Boy. Here we go. Boom. Right, we're going to go off straight away to that building over there on the right. Which is, I believe, the space plane hangar. Let's go. Here we go.
cruise in, we cruise in. We're breaking. Run some atmospheric analysis. Bit of seismic data. Bit of pressure data. Bit of graviolis. Bit of temperature. Bit of observing the old materials bay. Collect all them bad boys. Turn off the brakes. And away we go to the next one. Oh no, that's not the space. That's the space plane hangar. That's mission control. See inside the space plane hangar. It is empty. Some graviolis. Some temperature olies. Some seismolies. Some pressure olies. Some atmospheric olies. Collect all of that. Turn the brakes off. And then we've got to go over to. I assume the fact that these buildings are under construction means they have upgrades available. This is literally a shed. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Delightful. Let's up my science a little bit, I'm hoping. The seventy nine point five science and basically got all the money back. So that means now I have enough science for the ion propulsion engine and the not that the best antennas available. That would be good as well at some point, but I definitely can't afford that. What else is there? So there's the better wheels, which would be great. Interesting. It's a bit more space planey. The large containment, the bigger rocket. That I need to look at. We definitely need to do some space plane stuff. However, for now, it is the ion propulsion and the better one of those. Look at that. Boom. 116 science remaining. Leave that facility. We're going to leave that boy. Oh shit, what up? Nice one, KSC Rover. Unfortunately, we are now making a new probe. I don't mean unfortunately, I mean amazingly. We had a generic relay. Uh, let's delete that fairing. We just look like this. What I want, how much did that, how much is that way? Two tons. Start off with a decoupler. Make that the root part. Let's get rid of that. It's just there as reference now. Lovely. So let's first off let's have a look at this new engine. 
which is, nope, there it is. Okay, it's a ditter. It's a ditter, that's for sure. Phone's ringing back in a minute. Pausing here. <laughs> 